In this video tutorial, we're going to cover how to assignment. As you may already know, you have the ability to assign an owner to every single ticket. You can do that manually, as you can see on my screen. However, imagine the possibilities if you were able to do that automatically. That means that you can provide uh, ticket ownership a lot faster and therefore, hopefully, a uh, faster resolution as well. So what are the options that we have in Happy Fox? I'm going to open the admin menu and on the third column, I'm going to highlight auto assignments. This is one of the most powerful features in the system and it could truly help your team to streamline the ticket resolution process. So we strongly recommend using it. I'm going to start creating an auto assignment rule and I want you to notice the UI walks you through it step by step. It's very simple. Now, before I get started, I want to quickly highlight the fact that auto assignment rules are applied per category. That means if you have a bunch of categories in your setup, you need to make sure that you go in and you create an auto assignment rule for each category. That gives you plenty of flexibility on how you want to distribute the work, right? Now, there are three types of auto assignment. I'm going to quickly cap, uh, recap this. Round robin is going to give out tickets whether you're logged in or not. It's just a pure round robin. It's one of the most simplistic ways. And then you have round robin based on active agents and round robin on active agents with low balance. Those two are dependent upon agents making themselves available, right? Their agents can make themselves available into the round robin or not. Also, managers have the possibility to turn agents on and off from these auto assignment rules. They can do that from the agent page. Now, what else? When I pick whether it's a round robin based on active agents or a round robin on active agents with low balance, I'll be prompted to set a throttle as well. In fact, I'm going to show you. Once I select the right, the right round robin type, I can go into the next step and look at that in here. Not only am I able to select the appropriate team members, again, those are all team members that are associated with the uh, category that I'm applying the rule upon. I can always make some quick adjustments. I can also set an exclusion. For example, if I have a status like on hold, I don't want that to be counted against the agent's throttle. And lastly, what is that throttle, right? So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm saying every single one of those four individuals can get up to 20 tickets related to this category. However, if they ever mark any of those tickets on hold, that particular ticket or those tickets marked on hold will not count against their throttle. That's it. That's how simple it is. Uh, so again, we strongly recommend depending on the uh, nature of the ticket and, and the team structure, utilizing any of these three options for, for ticket assignment. I'm going to quickly show you round robin because again, it's one of the most simplistic ways. This will provide tickets whether the agents are available or not. There's no choice for that actually. It's just round robin among all of them. So if you notice, once I pick the type, I hit next, and I just get to pick the team members. That's it. There's no throttle option in here. On the very last step, I basically get to add my auto assignment name and finish creating. That is it. Thank you for watching.